everyone welcome back to my channel my name is Lisa if you're new around here and today we are talking hair I'm going to talk you through everything when it comes to my hair routine color extensions favorite products and also my favorite tools to use so if you want to know all about my hair then just keep watching let's get started okay so first of all I want to address the fact that I've got extensions in now I did mention this in a vlog a little while back and I am absolutely obsessed with them. Now, a lot of people think that when you have hair extensions, you use them for, you know, to have really long hair, like really long, luscious locks. But that is not what I've used them for. I've used them to get some extra thickness in my hair. I've had three children and during that time, I have suffered postpartum hair loss all three times, which is why I initially had my hair cut shorter because I wanted to have, you know, thicker looking hair. Since having Orlando, I've got postpartum hair loss again and it kind of starts at around six months for me. And what I did do, which was a mistake when I had my hair cut I don't know how long ago now maybe it was around six months ago actually I had it cut shorter around the front because I wanted to have like a long fringe and that was a big mistake for me because it made my hair look so much thinner around the front made my hair look even shorter than what it was and yeah it just took forever to grow because obviously I had, I had been bleaching it as well so the condition wasn't that great after bleaching it for so long and also the postpartum hair loss it was just there was a lot of breakage going on so I spoke to my friend in the salon that I go to the lady that owns the salon and she said you know some hair extensions would be great around the front it would really thicken it up and make it look fab so I was a little bit nervous about having extensions because I've never had them before like not bonded ones anyway because my hair is naturally quite wavy and I thought they might be quite hard to style and dry and stuff as well I had the hair extensions put in these are bonds so they're individual bonds and I've got about 50 in my hair so 25 on each side and I've literally just had it around the front section and um, it just makes my hair look so much thicker and I really really love it I'm so happy with them the first couple of days they felt a little bit uncomfortable a little bit tight on the head but now I'm completely used to them and I can just feel them when I touch them like this but they are amazing these are gold fever extensions they were gifted to me from my friend that owns the salon I would still pay for them and I'm going to continue to pay to have them done because I absolutely love them it's just less effort done with my hair now I can leave it straighter for longer before when I would have it straight it just looked really thin and straggly but now it looks really thick and healthy so I can wear it straight which is really really lovely and um, when I curl them it just looks really lovely as well so I'm so pleased with them the gold fever hair extensions you can have customized to your hair so the colors match absolutely perfectly with my hair color because I've got two different colors blended in to match my hair color perfectly so yeah those are my extensions they last for around kind of four to six months depending on how you look after them and how you know how comfortable you are with them growing out because obviously they will grow out and they're individual extensions so they're like this here this is one of the extensions and it's basically kind of attached at the top here and you can't really tell that I've got them in you can kind of see them here sometimes but because my hair is like two-toned you can't really tell too much because I've got highlights but I'm going to see how I get on what I'm going to try and do basically is I want to grow all of the front of my hair down and once that's grown I'll, I'll take them out but for now I'm going to keep them in and see how I get on so those are my extensions if you've got any other questions listen down below for me price wise as well because I have had a couple of questions regarding the price for what I've had done it usually costs around 250 50 pounds so, and if any of them come out you can just pop back to the salon and they'll put them back in for you free of charge when it comes to my hair color you guys know I had it bleached in the summer and that was just something I had to do because I've been wanting to do it for absolute years and I was like oh my god I just want bleached blonde hair I want it to be really really blonde really nice for the summer and I loved it for the summer but I did find it a little bit too harsh on me I liked it but that first week that I would have it like bleached it was just so bright and it was too in your face so I softened it up went for more of my natural colour at the top here, a few darker colours, I had like um, a bleach and then a darker colour, I did do a video on it when I had it done so I'll link that down below, but I am so happy with it because now I don't have to get it coloured as often and I actually cancelled my colouring appointment because I didn't need to have it coloured again because it looks fine doesn't it, I mean it's going to be more of a rooty blonde, that's what I wanted and I don't really mind like the darker colour around my face because that's my natural colour. I really love having the darker colour, it's just so much easier to maintain and I don't have to visit the salon as often so I'm probably going to go to the salon every 8 to 12 weeks I would say to have it coloured. I don't really think I'm going to need to have it done as often as I did with the bleach. When I had it bleached I'd have it coloured every 6 weeks and that's just a lot. Those 6 weeks come around very quickly especially when you're a busy mum of 3 so this is way lower maintenance and I much prefer it. That is my colour situation and I'm going to stick with it. When it comes to hair products I get a lot of questions about what hair products I use. I'm not really one that's brand loyal when it comes to hair products. I like 
like to try lots of different things but there are a few products that recently and for the past few years I've really stuck with and I wanted to share them with you today so when it comes to shampoo and conditioner this is not something that I'm brand loyal with but there are a few products that I've been enjoying recently what I do want to mention as well that some of the products within this video are gifted not paid to talk about them but they were gifted so the first brand is living proof and i actually discovered this brand on instagram a lady called marina mcavoy i think that's her name she was raving about it and i i instantly ordered a product which i'll show you in a moment but i have recently tried these out and these are the living proof color care shampoo and conditioner they they just make my hair feel very clean i did suffer with very greasy kind of hair postpartum and i did talk about this on instagram the product that really helped get rid of that was a herbal essences one i can't remember what it was called now but it was like in a clear bottle it was amazing but i don't need that anymore because i don't have like the greasy roots anymore so i'm using these and they're amazing very very good on my hair i like to do like two shampoos and then one conditioner so i'll shampoo my hair once with this this is the l'oreal el vive color protect care and shampoo because i don't want to waste the expensive one and then i'll go in with this shampoo and then this conditioner you only need a tiny bit you do not need a lot of conditioner those are my shampoo and conditioners that i use at the moment i don't currently use a silver shampoo but i thought i would mention one that i was using towards the end when i was having my hair bleed and that is the um charles Worthington color toning ultraviolet shampoo this is very very good i find that some shampoos silver shampoos can turn my hair a funny color this is very strong so you do not need a lot and you don't need to leave it in very long either so literally you just use it wash it and rinse it out pretty much straight away unless it's really really brassy i found that this is the one that left my hair looking the brightest out of all of the silver shampoos that i've got i've purchased this a few times now and i really like it so i love the smell of it as well it smells really nice i like trying new ones out so i don't know i might try a different one out because i don't need one as strong at the moment i need one that's a little bit softer on my hair so that is the silver shampoo that i would recommend if you've got very brassy hair when my hair is wet i will use a few different products as well this is another one that i use when my hair was really bleach blonde i don't use it now at the moment because i don't really need it because i quite like this warmer tone that i've got going through my hair but if you don't like that warm tone this is another product that's great this is the color care whipped glaze by living proof again i ordered this when i saw marina using it and it looked amazing it is like a mousse that you use in your hair it's basically a color toning glaze in a mousse form so you use this on your hair when it's wet put it all through your hair evenly it will reduce the brassy tones in your hair and make your hair look nice and shiny so that's why i like to use in that one i always use a heat protectant in my hair and a detangler and this is the one i'm using this is the bumble and bumble invisible oil heat uv protective primer i've used this for about five years now i think maybe even longer and the bottle is pretty much empty but i'm just getting those last little bits out before i order another one it just makes my hair feel amazing it smells delicious another product that i use on wet hair now i don't use this very often i kind of use it every two to three washes i would say but oh my god what a game changer this is color wow so this is a color wow dream coat supernatural spray and this guy is amazing i actually watch this on qvc me and mark watch qvc in the night sometimes when we're feeding orlando before bed and I saw this on there and I was like, that stuff's not going to work, is it? Basically, this is meant to stop your hair going frizzy when you go out in the humidity. So when you go outside, sometimes your hair can frizz up. Mine especially does because obviously it's naturally wavy. And oh my God, when I use it, no frizz whatsoever. And it just looked smooth for absolute days. It didn't get frizzy at all. If you've got frizzy hair, you need to try this product. You do need to saturate your hair when you're using it. It's basically like a water I don't know how else to explain it. It is like water. Spray it in your hair, brush it all through before you dry it so it's all evenly distributed. And when you dry it, it's like heat activated. So you need to dry it with a hairdryer. It's basically like a humidity sealant. So you, your hair will not react to the humidity. It's incredible. I didn't think it would work. I think you get about 26 uses out of it. My friend was saying 26-ish uses. So that's quite a lot and it definitely works it's so so good i haven't used it this time so my hair my hair needs a wash by the way guys sorry if it's looking a little bit crazy now a couple of finishing products again these are all living proof and color well because those are the products i'm using at the moment but the dry shampoo i'm using at the moment is this living proof dry shampoo this is the best dry shampoo i've ever used i actually got a sample one of these in like a beauty box and i was like what is this brand uh, i tried it it worked amazingly on my hair i've actually used it today on my hair because this is like third day hair now and it apparently cleans the hair as well right i had to stop filming then to charge my battery where was i yeah the living proof products that i use are perfect hair days the dry shampoo and also the full dry volume blast now 
I've only just started using this, so I can't really talk too much about it or give it more of a review, really. What I will say is that it does give you a really good volume, and you just spray it into your hair when it is dry, just at the root, and then just zhuzh, um, and that one's really good for a little bit of volume. But when it comes to shine, um, I'll use this one by Bumble and Bumble. This is the Hairdresser's Invisible Oil. This smells really, really nice, and it's lasted me so long. I've got about that much left. I just pop this one on the ends of my hair, and I've recently started using this one, which is the one Wow, extra mystical shine spray. This one is a little bit heavier, I would say, than the oil, and you only need the tiniest amount. So this is a shine spray if you prefer a spray over the oil. Now, finally, I want to talk about a couple of the tools that I use to style my hair. I get loads of questions on what I use to curl my hair, and I've had these for about six years, maybe. These are the Cloud9 Wide Iron Straighteners, and I use this all the time to curl my hair. I've actually done a couple of videos. I've done a video on IGTV on how how I've used these so I'll link that down below basically yeah I just put my hair in twist it round pull it down at the same time and that curls my hair it does take a little bit of practice but I find these much easier than the thinner straighteners like the normal sized straighteners so if you are struggling then maybe try the wider ones because I find them a lot easier to use and yeah I always use those to curl my hair and also straighten my hair if I want it super sleek and straight so those are the cloud nine wide irons and then when it comes to blow drying my hair which is something I've been doing a lot more recently I've been using this and this little guy, sorry if it's got hair on it, but this little guy is amazing. Now I found this again through Marina McAvoy and she used it and hadn't heard about it before. I hadn't seen anyone else use it, but now all of a sudden I've seen so many people using it. So maybe it is a new tool, I'm not really sure. But this is the Revlon One Step Styler Volumizer. It's really, really good. It cost me about £39. And yeah, I would highly recommend it. I use it to blow dry my hair. I let my hair dry to about 70%. If I'm in a bit of a rush, I'll use my hair dryer to kind of ruffle it all and dry it a little bit like quicker and then I'll go in with that to kind of smooth it out and give it that big bouncy blow dry look with minimal effort it's so good such a cheap I think it's quite cheap really for a hair tool and it works wonders it really gives me that volume that I couldn't achieve before I've never really been that good at blow drying my own hair so um, I've never really bothered with kind of round brushes I couldn't really be bothered to put all of the effort in with a round brush and a hair dryer so quick to use it takes me around I would say about 15 minutes to kind of dry it all with that tool and and uh, it just gives my hair loads of volume and lift. You can also use it to kind of flick your hair out or curl it under. You can give yourself a bouncy blow dry in a matter of minutes so about 15 to 20 minutes you've got a great blow dry there what i will say is that if you've got quite um frizzy hair or if you have quite unruly hair then you might need to smooth over the ends with straighteners it depends what kind of look that you're going for a lot of the time i won't bother using the straighteners on the ends but sometimes i will it depends what i'm doing or how i want it to look but you can use straighteners on the ends if you need to afterwards if you find that you haven't got it quite so smooth as you want it to be if you're going to buy anything from this video today i would say definitely check out the color wow dream coat because that is really great for the humidity and i was very surprised when i tried it i don't really believe in products that much until they prove me wrong and this one proved me wrong so yeah color wow dream coat and also the one step styler by revlon is definitely a must have if you want sleek hair with bounce and volume and then finally I just wanted to talk about a brush that I use now this is one that I have kind of I've used over the years it is a little bit battered this is the wet brush so um it's actually got my name on it but it's come off now they sent it to me ages ago I forgot that I even had it but speaking to someone about my hair extensions and she had hair extensions as well in the past and she recommended this brush what I have found with having the extensions is that they are quite hard to obviously brush because you can't brush from the root as such without catching them when you use a normal brush so I was using a normal paddle brush and I just found it quite uncomfortable when brushing my hair like it kept catching but this one doesn't catch it's very very easy to use it kind of glides over the extensions rather than catching and yanking them if you've got hair extensions or even if you need a brush to detangle your hair when it's wet i would highly recommend this it's very very good those are all of my kind of favorite products and tools and a little bit about my hair so if you've got any other questions about my hair don't hesitate to ask in the comments down below i will be there to answer any questions that you've got and thank you so much for watching this video guys i really hope you enjoyed it don't forget to subscribe if you're not subscribed already and i'll see you all in my next video bye guys when everything is white, glimmering silver white, and stillness fills the night, it's Christmas, a winter one.